Hey everybody and welcome back to another Barbie movie video and today we're going to be taking a look at the matching plaid suit doll. And before we start, I'm Jamie and I like to make toy videos here on my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. Alright, so here she is. So I got mine from Amazon Singapore. She retails for $50 over there in the States but in Asia she retails for around $85. For her packaging, since she is a part of the Barbie Signature Collector line, her packaging is also featured in the Collector Style box, just like the other Collector dolls in the series. The iridescent foil lettering on the logo never fails to delight me. Alright, now it's time to take her out. To be perfectly honest, out of all the dolls that I got for this movie, she was my least excited one. As in like, well, not because I hate her or anything, I do like her, but at the same time, I wasn't like, oh my god, I can't wait to have her kind of thing, you know. I was feeling more towards the pink western doll, um, but oh my god, after seeing her in person, boy, she changed my mind. She may have become one of my favorites from this collection, and you'll see later in the review because I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, so let's just finish taking her out first. Also quite interesting, the base of her stand is actually packaged behind the plastic spacer in the box, so I actually have to remove the spacer now. And she is out of the box, so before we get into the details, let's just take a 360 look at her. She's absolutely adorable. Alright, first up, her hat. I was so excited to see an actual fabric hat on her. And it does have something underneath, I think, to keep the shape and also to keep it hard. But overall, it's so nice. It has this ribbed kind of netting texture to it and also has a little ribbon that goes around the hat and a little bow and two little strings on the back. In the movie, I do think it was more of a squared shape hat, but I think for the doll, they made it round so that it fits on her head better. Face-wise, it's the exact same sculpt and the exact same paint as the rest of the Margot dolls in the line. For the hair, this doll is unique for having a side parting and it's pretty much just gelled into these curls. I'll show you at the end on how I restyled her just using water. For her jewelry, she has a little pearl drop earring with a gold stud. Although I do think in the movie, the gold part is supposed to be like a little ribbon. Moving on to the outfit, so this is the part that really got me and elevated her to one of my favorites because she has so many different pieces, like she has her jacket, she has her top, she has her skirt, she has a petticoat, she has fabric undies, and then she has a hat. It's just so awesome, so let's break them down one by one. Her jacket has the same texture like the hat, which is really cool. I love the structure of the jacket, I love the way it's stitched on the back, especially look at those sleeves, I don't even know how to call that, but it looks so cool. She even has tiny little buttons sewn on at the end of the sleeve. And even the sleeves are just like overlapped each other to make it look like it's actually being buttoned up. So that is just so cool. And she also got painted fingernails. And I actually do love that shade of pink. All right, now let's take off her jacket and it does come off fairly easy. Overall, it's a very nicely made jacket. For her sleeveless blouse underneath, it has the same patterns but in satin. It has a little ribbon that you can actually tie so it's not stitched in the position of a bow, it's tied into a bow. It fastens with two plastic buttons on the back. Then she got her puffy skirt, which actually has a tiny little petticoat underneath poofing it up. And underneath that, she still has a fabric undie. Maybe because I haven't seen this much quality from Barbie in a while, it's really making me so very excited. 
The skirt also fastens with a little plastic button on the back. And finally, we got her blue little heels with a ankle strap. They're very cute. And in the movie, I think there is no ankle strap, but I appreciate on the doll because now they'll stay on her feet without having to use rubber bands. <laughs> For articulation, she moves at the neck, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the hips, and the knees. So here she is with all of her things. So I just wanted to lay it out like this because I want to point out that, including her shoes, she comes with six different pieces of accessories. Seven, I suppose, if you count the earrings too, which is just so cool. I wasn't expecting that at all. I thought the top and the skirt would have been one piece, only the jacket will be removable, and I wasn't even expecting the petticoat underneath. So that is just very pleasantly amazing and surprising. And I also just noticed the genuine Barbie stamp on the back. That is also a very nice detail. So cute. So for my overall thoughts, I don't think I have anything negative to say about her. The only thing I would just kind of nitpick would just be the execution of the hair, which is just a gelled, curled up mess. But other than that, the execution of the outfits and everything, I'm just so in love with her. And it's so strange that she seems to be the least popular, at least out of the collector dolls, because um, on Amazon Singapore... Like, she's the only collector doll that is still in stock. Like, the disco one is out of stock. Even the pink gingham one is out of stock. And then, of course, Western. We don't even talk about the Western doll because she's always gone. But it seems like not a lot of people are getting her. And it's a shame because I really hope people realize how amazing this doll is and go and get them. I think next month after payday, I might get another one just to keep her in the box. <laughs> And for the finale, here is a look at how I restyled her hair. So I did the same thing I did to the pink western doll where I only washed her hair under normal tap water without any product just to get rid of the heart gel. And after that, I just kind of finger twirled her hair back into the shape and they dried into this. So I think it's a, a, a really nice way to restyle. You don't have to do the whole curling, boy washing and everything. Just wash it out with water and then kind of just shape it back into the curls that you want. And there we go. It gets rid of the hardness of the gel, but at the same time retains the shape and the curls. So that is pretty great. Alright, so that is it for my review on the matching plaid suit Barbie from the Barbie movie. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have you gotten her or are you going to get her sometime soon? You can also check me out on Instagram at Jamie Creates for my toy photography, including the Barbie movie dolls, Disney, and so much more. If you enjoyed the video, you can thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. It'll really help out my channel. But once again, thank you so much for watching until the very end, and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!